there always has been in this college, now a university, great pride amongst all of the students of wearing a rugby club shirt. We rub together, we tackle together, we defend together, we score together. This is fucking amazing, boys, yeah? This is it. This is what we trained all season for, boys, yeah? Come on, boys! Everything goes into this game. Do not walk up the pitch. You crawl up this fucking pitch, boys, yeah? You make sure you give everything 110%. Gary, or mainly known as Pidge, the club coach, uh, former player. Shoot! It's you know, your mates, you become, you become united as a massive group. So, in terms of when you first turn up, you've got your close mates around your actual group in your halls. But you're allowed to eat so much more, get involved in the student union. And the whole round crack around the club just is fantastic. I played for three years while I was a student, back in 2005 to 2008. Then I took the role as DPSA. Played the odd time illegally, uh, and then from then on, uh, was assistant coach last year, and then moved up onto head coach this year. After the matches, there's always a social occasion: stay together, get together, have a drink, and have a good time. There are other occasions like the annual dinner is a big social occasion, uh, the, uh, the, the biggest of the season, and then going on tours. That's also a big part of the social side of the club. One occasion I remember very well was the last game of the season against Leeds University. We went out for an evening of drinking and arrived back at um, the De Grey rooms and some 25 of them stripped completely apart from their shoes and their socks and a tie around their necks. They put their uh, clothes onto coat hangers and walked back to Lord Mayor's Walk, carrying the coat hanger on their shoulder. Unfortunately, as they approached the corner of Lord Mayor's Walk, a police car stopped, four policemen got out, and four of our lads were arrested. What does it mean to be a lion? Uh, it doesn't like, even matter what state of rugby you're at. Uh, and yeah, a great bunch of lads. It's just immense. Like, you can go out any time and guarantee to see some rubber mates out and you can just have a great crack with It's just awesome. Because I'm living, moving into house mates here, I've met a lot of my house, I've met all of my house mates off the rugby team. I met like, some group of great friends that are like for life, really, that you can always come back to. For like old John Drew Kent, you can always come back and you know that people are there. Made a lot of my best mates through it, made my housemates through it. So it enhances your life at uni, really. I particularly remember we had a little Michelin mascot painted in the club colours, which we took everywhere with us, wherever we went to play. In fact, the captain ran onto the pitch holding on to Charlie, as we called him. And we took it to Hull, Hull University, and uh, put it down by the side of the pitch and told the bursar, who was a good friend of the rugby club, to uh, keep his eye on it. Well, unfortunately, the bursa didn't keep his eye on it and it was taken by some of the spectators from Hull. Well, there was no way that we were coming back to York without Charlie. And for the next two hours or more, we searched that place room by room until we found it and Charlie was restored to the St John's coach to come back to York. Main responsibilities are on game day and on training days, just ensuring that kind of texts get sent out, ensuring all the kits there, kind of everyone's being behaved during training, just kind of lead by example in terms of self-discipline, um, i.e. knowing when to go out, knowing when to train in the gym, always making sure I turn up for training, that always I'm always prepared for games. You can join on, there's a lot of different levels that you can join at really in terms of we have some really good players right down to kind of people who've never really played before. Just checking everyone's kind of done the preparation in terms of got enough water on board. Um, everyone's out and changed by around one o'clock, an hour before the game, and then ready ready to kind of go and then kind of give give a bit of a team talk. Boys, if you fucking put it there like you've been doing the warm up, like you've been doing in fucking training, I tell you what boys, you'll experience that fucking feeling, right? 
you will experience that feeling. Boys, you have to play for the fucking John's badge today. You have to fucking play for us. You play with pride, you play with fucking commitment, and you play for your fucking teammates. Old John's is a term you could use for any former student of uh, York St John. The most famous is probably uh, Jack Harrison, who got a VC Victoria Cross and a Military Cross in World War I and was an outstanding centre. Now he was so good he was selected to play for the England Rugby League side uh, and to travel to Australia. But unfortunately World War I broke out and he was enlisted into the army. Now while serving, a machine gun was holding up the advance and Jack took a Mills bomb and ran at the machine gun post as though he was on the rugby field, swerving and dodging, got to the post, planted the bomb, but unfortunately he was blown up with it. So he was awarded the Victoria Cross posthumously. So my own team was just to have it at St John's was just, yeah, something special. Yeah, the two lads have been captain, have been, been good lads, so yeah, it was quite an honour to get voted into position by kind of other members, other members of the club. Strength, courage, bravery, perseverance, teamwork and pride. Rugby is not just a sport, it is a battle where everything is put on the line. And of course, last of all, uh, I think it's gone now, but we always sang the Monks of St Bernard. That was the rugby club song, and it was a tradition that at certain times and certain occasions we sang it. The Monks of St Bernard, St Bernard, St Bernard, they don't give up beggar at all. They rise up right early, right early, right early, and look through the hole in the wall. Green leaves are yellow, green leaves are yellow, green leaves are yellow, and so is the hole in the wall. And uh, people call me Kevin. Why do people call you Kevin, Jack? Because they think I look like Home Alone. <laughs> right, thank you, everyone. Uh, until next time. Keep it real. Fantastic. That's like banter, that's just pure shit crack. <laughs>